what do you tell? Did you tell the guys anything? Do you kind of rally it up, or do you know the energy just might be there because of everything that happened? I mean, we still had a game to play. You know what I mean? Uh, whenever that stuff happens, I mean, it usually creates a lot of energy in the building or whatnot. So, uh, yeah, it was it. It definitely got everybody into the game a little more. Chris, um, earlier Steve Kerr said that uh, he was proud of the team and the the Wolves won it, but he, he thought that you guys played really well. Was there anything in the closing minutes that you saw or just throughout the game that you wish you could have done differently or thought, like, if you could do that again, maybe you could yeah, play out Yeah, absolutely. But uh, unfortunately, it don't work like that. Uh, it's a few turnovers down the stretch that I got. And um, after watching that play, I mean, I gave it to Dario or whatnot, but the lane opened wide, you know, for, for a shot. But um, that's like being a Monday morning quarterback, you know, wanting to be able to do it over. But I, I think we played well. We, we played hard, um, but it just wasn't enough. You were out there for 36 minutes. Uh, feel okay? Did you like? Did you like getting all those minutes? Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I mean. Not not given the circumstances, though. You know what I mean. But it's a long season, 82 games, and we already knew coming into the season that it was going to be uh, everything is by committee. You know, different guys getting the opportunity to play and step up, um, and, and that's what kind of team we have. You know, and we always said it ain't no moral victories, but. Um, it was nice to see that, you know, guys are ready to play. You were also out there with Pajemski a lot, and he mentioned he felt great playing with you. What was that kind of combination like, you and you and Brandon? It's great, man. Uh, BP, we talk a lot during the game. His energy is contagious. It's another ball handler that's out there that's able to uh, attack, defend. He just, uh, I mean, we talk about it all the time. We don't have some regular rookies. You know what I mean? We, we got some rooks who who uh, pay attention, know, know what they're doing. You know, to be on a team like this this early in the season, playing valuable minutes and big games, uh, it's only going to be good for, for the long haul. Following up on that, what, what do you tell a young guy like Pods, you know, through this game, he's racking up minutes, played 39 tonight, uh, just about keeping composure and being able to do what he did? Um, no, we talk all the time. I mean, he watching the games on iPads and stuff like that. And sometimes you only learn by experience, you know. But the, the best thing about being a rookie is you don't know anything different. You know, you just play hard and, you know, whatever happens, happens. And uh, we, we need that with this team. What did you think of the altercation uh, at the start of the game? I ain't seen it. You, you seen any of the videos of it? I mean, I ain't been on my phone. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't seen no videos of it. I just remember what happened during the game. Is, regardless of not seeing it, I mean, how shocking is it for an NBA game? There's not not a point scored. Three guys are getting ejected. I mean, how does that kind of throttle the game? It happens. <laughs> Shit, I've been in one. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, it's, it's competitive. It's... I mean, it's funny because if you watch our games, hell, I used to play against them all the time. So you, you constantly hold Steph and Clay so they can't come off ball screens. I mean, so they can't come off down screens and stuff like that. So, you know, coach had told Clay before the game, like, get them off of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Probably not to that extent, but it was good to see that energy and that fire. You know, unfortunately, it was two ejections, but. Kerr said that uh, Brandon is cocky. Like he knows how he's good, and he mm -hmm. and, and Steve said he loves that. Yeah. Do you love that about him? And is absolutely. He you don't want him to come in scared. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, he just. Uh, I mean, you guys see him playing on the court, but he's just a joy to be around every day. You know what I mean? He's a sponge. He wants to learn, but then he gets out there and he plays. He plays hard. Whatever the team needs, he's going to do. And. Uh, you want to see people like that win, you know. And so for him, uh, I, I think he's only going to continue to get better. Uh, Chris, uh, how do you continue to build when Steph off this game when Steph returns, especially in the non-Steph minutes? Don't know. <laughs> I, honestly, man, I don't think that in depth. I think right now, um, 
you know, is trying to analyze this game, you know, figure out what we can do better and get ready for the next game. Chris, earlier you were, uh, I know the shot wasn't falling like you wanted, but tonight you hit some big ones, you hit some middies, some threes. Does it feel like that part of your game is coming along? Um, maybe. I'm, you know, it's, this has all been new for me this year. You know, start and coming off the bench, start, you know what I mean? So it's a, it's a rhythm, and I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm figuring it out. But, uh, I mean, if I shoot that bad, I wish they'd just leave me open. <laughs> You know what I mean? If I'm not bad of a shooter, then leave me open. So, <laughs> Chris, you've talked a lot about pods tonight. Kerr said earlier that he's going to be in the rotation going forward. How do you think that you two can work together when you're on the floor? Like we did tonight. <laughs> you know, um, when you're out there playing and you got multiple ball handlers and, you know, if I'm out there with BP and I'm getting a lot of attention, he has the ability to drive you know, and, and create plays. And um, uh, I think we got a chance to continue to get better. And how do you make the determination, the determination when you have to shoot more versus pass more? Uh, I don't know. You just sort of figure it out over 19 years. And it's, it's tough. It's a balance. You know what I mean? I always say, uh, you know, trying to make the right play or whatnot, or being aggressive. But uh I'm uh, I'm gonna get back to it. I'm gonna get back to it. Great, thank you. Great. All right.